and welcome to episode 19 of the Squadcast, the official podcast of Glasgow Warriors. Thank you to everybody for tuning in once more. Thank you for bearing with us with our technical difficulties last week, just to prove that we are human and we're not a perfect podcast, but we're pretty close. I'm joined once again by co-host Mr. Murphy Walker. How are you? Hello, I'm great, thank you. How are you, Craig? I'm not too bad. You're fresh Good. from putting a few shots on our S&C team downstairs. Yeah, Robin, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, anything to do for return to play. No, that's good. Feeling good? Yeah, can't complain. Got a lot of boxes ticked this week. Got fitness tests done, some gym stuff done. So yeah, on the track to be back Lovely. in the near future. Lovely. Obviously, we, we should clarify, maybe not quite the near future that is this weekend. No, unfortunately not. But you're obviously buzzing for this weekend's game against Zebra here at Scottsdale. Yeah. Friday night, tickets still available, glasgowarriors.org. There's the blog, you know where to go. Um, how much are we looking forward to that one and being back in front of home? Yeah, Friday night will be huge. I think it's uh, after coming off a tough loss, boys will be raring to go to get a, kind of put our tracks by, back on the right rails. Um, but yeah, Friday nights are always class, aren't they? Yeah. Um, especially when it's sold out, so Warren Nation do a thing. But I think Zebra especially, it's always an exciting game to watch. Um, usually both very attacking um, and sometimes messy, which causes that excitement. Um so yeah, for the fans and the folk watching at home, it'll be a great game of rugby to watch and hopefully Weather plays ball and we'll have a great game of rugby on our hands. And our guest will, will hopefully be right in the thick of the action. Yeah, he'll be running it in from 50 metres or a quick pick and go, won't we? He, enjoy, he enjoys playing Italian teams. Sione Vailanu, how are you? Welcome to the Squadcast. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you've got for us? <laughs> Pretend that you can't speak English now. <laughs> Oh, but no, I'd say we should we should touch on the the game in South Africa over the weekend. Obviously, you, you were involved. First loss for for eleven games. First eleven game games. games. Yeah, first um, loss, yeah. But you said we were just chatting off air about it. Sometimes losing at this point in the season is actually not not a bad thing in, in the overall scheme of things. Yeah, yeah. like I said, um, yeah, it's, it's 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 pretty good. Even this tough loss, but I think it's good for us, and we so we can regroup and then we go again. So. And we'd be remiss to, to not talk about the fact that the last time you played an Italian team at Scottsdale, I think it might be one of the best home debuts in club history. It's up there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Even you're agreeing. Not humble. <laughs> stay, stay humble. <laughs> Just, I mean, we, we can't, we've got to talk about it. Talk, talk us through from your side, obviously. It was about seven minutes into the game and you're running in from six. Oh, meters. he's nine, minute, um, nine minutes. Nine, nine minutes. minutes. He minutes, knows yeah. exactly yeah. what yeah. it is <laughs> in the game. How many times have you watched that back? <laughs> No, just talk us through from your side. I was like, it's it's a it's a great try, but ah, yes. when, when you're out on the pitch, what what's going through your head at that point? Um, obviously, um, they 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 kick it back to us, and um, and I already tell um Toby um, I'm going I'm going because <laughs> I I saw I saw them I saw the, the overfolding, yeah. So I was like, I saw the moment, so I just take it. But you're also you're also charging through as a back drawer, and you you sell what is one of the the most iconic dummies. To a fullback that we've yeah. seen. No, it wasn't a dummy. The fullback just didn't want to tackle <laughs> Sione running full steam. I think, I think on a different podcast, that's called a business decision. Yeah, I yeah. don't want to. I'll back him for that. That's yeah, a yeah. right decision. Have you, have you ever had the, the pleasure of tackling Mr. Vailano at full strength? Yeah, it's easy. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. did, you, yeah. did you go for one at the weekend? A quick pick? Uh, yeah, we, Sione goes for one every game without the. Yeah, I take one of the weekend, but obviously the. And the pick of that, um, Johnny gave it. He gave it to Nathan, and I think Nathan didn't expect that bust. Yeah, and obviously oh, the yeah. outcome of that. Yeah, nah, we'll do it again this weekend. Though. You'll be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure. But you know, <laughs> like, just when you see the moment, take it. That's it. You make sure you take it hundred percent. We'll also talk about the fact that it's, it's your first year at, at Scotland. You obviously yeah. you signed last summer. From from our side, as a, I mean, from we, we're here day in day out. But from from the fan side, you seem to just really really be enjoying. Being part of this this club for yourself, how have you found the, the first year? Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, obviously, like I think the boys is is really good. Um, it's making me easier to uh, settle down here. Yeah. So, have you taken Walter under your wing, or has Walter <laughs> taken you, you under his wing? I'll take Walter. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, you have to you have to take. <laughs> I have to look after him, otherwise it is. No, that's fair enough. Speak to us about. Joburg and the heat and the altitude. Did, oh my did God. you feel it? Yeah, we uh, f we flew there and then we arrived there like nine o'clock or ten o'clock, mm -hmm. and then we have just have a rest of three hours and straight to training. Oof. And you can imagine that uh, the heat, 
I'd prefer not to imagine yeah. that, to be honest. <laughs> That's a lot so of So we straight we straight there and in the moors we would have the moors and this like um well, if you want to know that, like, <laughs> the most. There, there are a few books being exchanged off, right yeah. here, where yeah, mall sessions. Yeah, but it's, it's good. It's good, but obviously, like the heat there. Yeah, it's got it, it's got us oh, really bad there. So I thought you would enjoy that being from Tonga. I thought I'd be close no, to. Tonga is way better there. <laughs> <laughs> really than heat there. It's like 32, 33. And Joburg or Tonga? In Joburg. Joburg. Tonga, Tonga is is cool though. It's cold. Yeah. I mean, you say cold, you're in Glasgow. It's, it, there's like five degrees is warm for us in, in February at this yeah. point. Yeah. But no. Anyway, shall we get on with the, Absolutely. Get on with the show? For yes, those sir. who are Let's first go. time listeners, uh, we've got the, the Squadcast hat in front of us. In that hat, there are several little scraps of paper with various questions written on them. Your job, Mr. Vailanu, is yeah. to answer them the best you can about your Glasgow Warriors oh, team. Just take whatever's eh? Take one, crack on. Oh, he's pulled in. He scouted this one out beforehand. Did he? Oh, no, I've no idea. Oh. <laughs> we, scout, we scouted these two out just to make sure that we knew what we are doing. So the question here is, funniest thing you've ever seen on the pitch from a teammate? Now, hang on. Before we get into on the pitch, you've just reminded me of something I was going to ask you before, which is you are now currently the record holder for views on the Glasgow Warriors TikTok. Well done. <laughs> by That's virtue like... of scaring the living daylights out of Cameron Jones. Yeah. <laughs> I think about the last time we were on, we were on 76,000 views. We checked this just before we came on. Are, is, is it, are you just a natural with the camera? Do you, do you know what you're doing? You're the, it's a content creator. That's a, what it is. It's it's a, it's a obviously, me and um, Game Chones, we were talking about it yeah. earlier on, like, if we, we could scare someone, like, you know. <laughs> and I walked out in the window and I saw him walk into the hotel. and like, oh, I'm going to do it to him. <laughs> so it's a classic so, case of betrayal, basically. <laughs> Did he get oh. you back? He says he's going to get me a bill, but he never. <laughs> they eagerly await the return fixture yeah. from, from Cam Jones. Who's next on your list, though? Or can you don't tell, tell him. You don't tell, tell anyone. Yeah. I'm not telling you. It's <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'm definitely scared now. Anyway, sorry, back to the funniest thing you've seen on the pitch from a teammate. Who's funniest your? thing of a teammate? Um, he's done a thing. Who, who's, a, who's a pretty funny teammate to have? Is there anybody that springs to mind that, that always makes you laugh? Obviously, oh, he's um, Louis Bean. Oh, yeah. Bean. yeah. What sort of stuff does he do? <laughs> did you play the Dragons game? Yes. yes <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Morpheus re re remind me that he catch the ball and then stand there and didn't know what he got to do. <laughs> <laughs> and he turned it in Chobik as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> A pass straight to the deck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get, you're giving him tips for what to do in open play at this point. No, I just don't mate, hit the rock. <laughs> don't go stay out there. <laughs> just hit the rock. That's fair enough. <laughs> I think I'd be in the same boat to do it. So if I was in the middle of the pitch, you know, Johannesburg at that point. I mean, I I would probably have melted in the heat. Yeah. But open open prairie is probably not where I'm not I'm existing. What about no, yourself? Yeah. Well, isn't the funniest thing? Well, like, yeah, either that or what would you do in an open play situation? <laughs> I'd love to stick it on the toe, but I reckon I'd get a shout in that afterwards, so probably not that. Um <laughs> In terms of funniest thing I've ever seen on the pitch, <laughs> there's a few things, but the, the funniest thing, it's been said before, is when somebody's rear end is out on display to yeah. the whole fans, that's probably the funniest thing. <laughs> and uh, playing in the game when I was, I think it was 20s, and it happened to one of our teammates, and he was in a situation, a bit like the weekend, that happened with Freddie Stewart yeah. for England. Like you, you can't stop running, just pull your shot. You just got to keep going and just like, embrace it. Um, and speaking of another situation at twenties, the person I'll speak about knows who he is. Um, he's a good friend of mine, and a fellow prop. Um, and uh, we're about to scrum down against Wales. And you know what it's like when you're scrummaging at prop. The second rows come into bind. Yeah. Where do they usually bind, Craig? Yes. On the shorts, yeah. So the waistband of your shorts is usually the best option. Um, luckily, this wasn't me, but um, <laughs> middle of the game, second row comes in, binds on my teammate's shorts, grabs his boxers by accident, <laughs> pulls down on the grip, and next minute is uh, meeting two veg are just hanging in the wind, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was probably the funniest. You can hear it on the rest, Mike, where he's going mad at the second row. So yeah, that would be my funniest. <laughs> Oh, we'll need to find this out. We probably we, we shouldn't embarrass people on air. We'll need to find this. <laughs> I won't name names, so he's, he's name safe names. for today. We won't name names. 
I mean, there, there's nowhere we can go with that, so feel free to, to draw the next <laughs> one. Nice one. Right, Sione. You can't answer yourself, all right? Who is the hardest worker in the squad? Pick a back and a forward. <laughs> bags all forwards. No, pick both. One, 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 of, one of each. I think for me, the bags is Sebastian. Yeah? Seba. Yeah, yeah Seba. I think he's, he's one of the... <laughs> One of the guys you can, you know, yep. you can trust out of the bags. Like, his work rate is, uh, is, is up there. The GPS report after yeah. every game is ridiculous when Seba plays. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, he just seems to top the charts for pretty much everything when it comes to, to yeah. that side of things. Fair enough. Forward? Forward? Uh, it's a tough one. Uh, but he's, he's got a few boys in the forwards. Yep. But I reckon he's Fraser Brown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think Fraser Brown. Yeah, one of the tough, one of the tough guy you play with. You know, the way he chucking himself on, the, especially in the rock. You know, yeah. his work rate as well is good. Yeah, no, he, he, yeah, he's somebody that comes up in these discussions a lot. Have you ever played against Fraser, or were you? No, mm, no. Did you play against Glasgow when you were at Worcester or Saracens? No, no, or? It's only Saracen, but this is my first year there. Ah, yeah. I think this is 2018-19, yeah, the Champions final Cup. on the champion. Oh, the, yeah. We came here. Uh, oh, here? Yeah, we're here, we're away. We came here and then, yeah. yeah, I think it's a good game. It's a good game there. Yeah. Well, you'll, you'll have seen Fraser from, yeah, from the opposition point yeah. of view. And then, yeah. obviously, what, what have you been impressed with since you've joined over the summer? I think the way... Um, he he didn't he didn't um he he he's the one who who lead us, so through his action, it's not yeah. not his words. So I think this one, fellow member of the front row union over there for you, Murph. Yeah, I know. Nah, Fraz is a great shout. Like he's been doing this a long time now, and he's smart. He's not he's not one of those guys that will just stick his head in somewhere, and but he'll he'll do it with a bit of suave, shall we say. Um, graphs are, I think, uh, kind of the older boys, and I, won't, I don't want to say older boys, but the more experienced boys in more the squad. More distinguished. Yes, and the more distinguished <laughs> boys in the squad this year have kind of been leading the charge. Like you look at Richie Gray, Fraz, they've been the ones leading us away there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you just see, like, Fraz, for example, just goes straight from playing here straight into the Scotland squad, and it's just a it's a recognition and merit is. is uh, Hard work that he's been putting in this year, and uh, it's not been an easy year because Frank has been turning the heat up at training. So, yeah, well, deservedly so. I was actually just going to come on to that. We, we've talked a bit about the Six Nations, obviously the the Huey Pilotu combination, which I mean, it, we saw the game at Stade de France on on Sunday. It's their their class. Like, yeah, there is yeah. no they're not being around the bush. Hugh Jones's stats from that game are off the charts. Yeah, but I think a lot of the guys up front, like you said, when it comes to to Fraz and to Richie have probably gone a little bit under the radar from a lot of people. People have seen the quality of, of Richie. Um, but seeing somebody like Fraser come back into the Scotland squad, that's got to be a, a pretty great thing for, for everybody in the squad to see as well. Yeah, I think it just shows you what a different mindset or not necessarily a mindset, but the way that we train affects the way you play and the way the, the way you play affects of obviously selection going forward. So yeah, I think the we talk about one percenters, the things you do at training, the one percenters obviously have a knock on effect, a bit like that butterfly effect that they will yeah. improve your game. And I think it obviously goes to show with Fraz and Richie that they're in some great condition physically, but they're also, in terms of their game, they're in top form. So it's not, it's great to see and uh, yeah. great for the club. You've been watching the Six Nations as well, Sione? Yeah, I've been following Scotland. Yeah, do we all? Yeah, I was going to say, please, right. you're, you're definitely supporting Scotland. This yeah, probably definitely supporting good. Scotland, yeah. Siona is the first one in the group chat to say good luck to the brothers. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. 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 First one in there. Love that. He was calling a Grand Slam last week, and then obviously he ruined it for us. Yeah, I was, um, yeah, it was a Senate. Obviously, you've got the Tongan boys here, because um, all the Tongan boys here in the UK, because, like, obviously, Billy and Mako and them. Yeah. And they all the boys are like good luck, good luck England. It's like, oh, good luck Scotland. <laughs> 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 they give me a hard time. <laughs> this is what we like. Uh, all, right. all right, round three. Which one of you wants to pick one? And you go, Sione. Who is the teammate that makes you laugh the most? Oh, that's kind of already been. Similar. Do I pick another one out? Or we'll go another one. Be no. Yeah, yeah still be no. <laughs> Who is the first to leave on a squad night out? 
Team Social Who just disappears. Are you there to the end? No, I've, I'm one of two guys. You're one of the first ones. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're honest about it, to be fair. <laughs> and then getting himself a chipping going home, aren't you? <laughs> to be fair, I see no problem with that. I am, I'm right there. No, that's a great night out. That's a great night out. Yeah. Who, who's with you then? Who's, who's the first person to leave other than yourself? Because I just only, I've been with the team uh, one social. So, yeah. I don't, know if, I don't know. I reckon... Sam, um, Sam Johnson? Sammy J. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. Nah, well, Sammy goes hard. Oh. He, he goes <laughs> hard, but um, <laughs> Sammy just needs to make sure he gets the green light from Ailey or not, and that's that's when we know if he's going to be out for a long night or if he'll be back in this before is, his bedtime. This is where both of you and probably me are also going to get a tap on the shoulder from Sammy at some point <laughs> later this week, and he definitely listens to the squad cast. I love you, Sam. We do love you, Sammy. <laughs> also, speaking of Sammy, 100th cap in Johannesburg yeah. for Glasgow yeah. Warriors. I mean, what, what have I? Yeah, what, what has everything he's been to, to Glasgow oh. Warriors for the last seven, eight years he's been here? Yeah, incredible. I mean... He's very much loved by the boys. Yes. And you'll love me saying this, but he's very much loved by the boys. Um, gets on very well with everyone and is obviously a very good rugby player. Yeah. Um, so it was a wee bit of a shame that he couldn't run out in front of his home fans for his 100th, but obviously hopefully he'll be able to do that in a way this weekend. But um, yeah. yeah, credit to Sammy and his uh, career so far. So yeah, it far. continues. Indeed. Again, so many. Just talk to us a little bit about what Sam's like as a, Sam's like as a teammate. Yeah, Sammy is one of the good examples of being a leader, leadership yeah. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the game. Because obviously I've been, I think we've seen three games, four games now. Um, he's one of the guys, he's, he's really good and leaders on the game. Yeah. yeah. But I think, like I said, like same as Fraser, he's going through his action, not his words. So that's, that's why I'm impressed about him. So this is my first season here and, I, and I'm impressed about him. Yeah. yeah he's, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he obviously had that tough stint with his jaw um, and his last out into South Africa, actually. Um, yeah. yeah. But he's been, I mean, turning up recently in the Dragons game when he assisted uh, That's a great, Cole. That's a great pass. Like, yeah. So assisted Cole and then obviously at the weekend assisted Eli. Yeah. And then <laughs> closely, nearly assisted Almost. Johnny. If Johnny had a bit more gas in the wheels. <laughs> um <laughs> would have been assisting Johnny as well, so you know, it's good having Sammy back in that yeah, yeah. great form he is in. Yeah. And uh, but it's, it's also yeah, tough now because we've got staff in good form. Yeah, we've got Sione in good form, the other Sione, and we've now we've got Sammy in good form. So it's uh, yeah, it's great and to you. and me <laughs> <laughs> at twelve and you. I thought you said me. <laughs> hey, you yeah. never know. You were putting yourself in <laughs> Shuggy, yeah. Week, yeah, and Shuggy's in good form. Um, so yeah. Yeah. We, we might preempt a future question because I know there is the question in there about nicknames as well. But obviously, we have got two Sionis. Big nons and wee nons. Wee nons, nons. yeah. Yep. Again, is, is, are, you, are you happy with that? Are you, are you good being big nons? Do you enjoy this? Yeah, one? I'm happy with that, but yeah. I don't know it's not happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are two At least they call story. me like medium nons. <laughs> medium nons. <laughs> yeah, if there's another Sioni out there, if you can be. Join between, the club. <laughs> if you can be between the two Sioni sizes. <laughs> All right, crack on, number four. I've, that would be oh, okay. several thousand yeah. options we've got in there. Okay. Best singer in the squad. Best singer in the squad. You were at... I'm up there, though. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> yeah. You back yourself? <laughs> <laughs> what did you sing on the bus after your debut? Did you sing on the bus after your no, debut? My debut? No, I didn't sing. Bennett and Murray. Yeah. I did like. No, nah, debut was in South Africa. Oh yeah, home debut. Home was debut was here. Yeah, you know, so you didn't sing on the bus after your debut. No. Okay. No, no, he's the one that he's one of the ones that didn't get up. No. Oh. <laughs> Controversial. We start chanting his name, and he just goes no. Nope. <laughs> 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 um, but I'm trying to think because we had a was it the cri uh, Christmas social? Yeah. We had you probably smoke bomb and went home early, wouldn't you? <laughs> he was in the chippy at the yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Christmas dinner followed by. At a different venue, then we went back to the previous venue, and there was a whole karaoke set up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it was quite funny. The, the next couple of days, you couldn't speak to boys because they lost their voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think it was actually Mr. Johnson and Shuggy were. <laughs> they were wrestling each other over the microphone. I, I, and I George Honda. <laughs> George Honda. 
It's funny. I have heard stories that Shuggy was quite keen on the the old karaoke mic, so yeah. that 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 checks out. I still it still lives in my memory. Shuggy's living la vida loca. Oh wow! Unbelievable. That wasn't from that night. Um, this was actually from Shuggy's first stint at Glasgow. We're on a bus coming back from the golf social um, up at uh, Cameron House. And uh, obviously, we had a wee trip back to Glasgow, so we've got some songs in, and uh, yeah. Shuggy's Livin', Livin' La Vida Loca was unbelievable. Um, so, yeah, he gets a bit of credit there. We that. also end the season last year. Sierra would not have been here, but we had a karaoke night in, uh, I've forgotten the name of the, the, the place in the East End. Um, but anyway, we had a karaoke night, and uh, yeah, that was, that was highly popular. I can't. I, I can't say there was many good singers, but it was <laughs> highly popular. So here we go, Sioni. Put yourself on the spot. What's your What's your karaoke song? What are you singing? Storm never last. Storm never last. The storm oh, yeah. never yeah. last. Okay. Yeah. I want to find that. Okay. Do you want to sing it for us now? <laughs> no you've, got no a way. <laughs> you've got a microphone. You're all good. No, no, we're fine. Murphy's away to go and find this yeah, now. I want to find it. The storm never lasts. Okay. Who's it by? I think it's Kenny Rogers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I love I love country song, yeah. It's by Doctor Hook. Doctor Hook, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> I cannot imagine you singing that. I mean, uh, yeah, that I will I will pay money to see this halftime show at the weekend. Yeah, get back out at halftime on the pitch. You seen Rihanna at the NFL? <laughs> We're gonna have Sione Vailani. <laughs> yeah, Rihanna's got a big red dance. dress. <laughs> That'll sell tickets. More <laughs> nation. Do you want to see Sonia Vailano at half time? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that answers that question. Yes! All right, we'll go with one more. One more on you. And then sure. you are released to be free on this. Very nice looking evening, actually. A bit chilly, but quite nice. First teammate you would share good news with, if you got good news. I reckon um, Winons. Yeah. We know it's always we that team, yeah. If everything's good, like um, I think it's um especially in the game, it's always that I always text him. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, especially if you have good news, you know. Um because obviously um the last <laughs> the last time I I win that we played against uh, Pep Union yep. in Murrayfield. Um and I win I win I win the win of the match that yep. game and um and little nuns come because I, I pretend not to speak English <laughs> in front of the camera. Yeah, we should, we should, we should probably apologise to the EPCR reps at this point yeah. for, uh, for that mix-up. Um, but no, there is a very good photo of the two. Obviously, Wee Nons was the, the captain that day, I believe. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, that, that so does make sense. one they always share with him. Yeah. So, if anything, yeah, especially good news. So you guys wouldn't have known each other before you I, came to Scotland, or? Yeah. Yeah. So, again. I played against... Um, Nonsense on under 18. All right. Yeah. yeah. I think he played for, for Australia. Yep. And he played for Tone under 18. So that's how we know each other. Oh, nice. Yeah. Has, he, has he changed much since under 18s? Or? Not really for no. me. Yeah. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> it's a nice note to finish on. That is a nice note to finish yeah. on. And we'll, we'll leave it there. Uh, Sione, thank you very much for your, your time and thank you for entertaining us and all the best, assuming you're, you're selected because at thank this point and. A Tuesday afternoon before a Friday night game, we have no idea what the team is. Yeah. Um, but assuming you're selected, all the best for Friday night Thank against Zebra here at Scottsdale. We'll tickets do our at, best. Tickets at GlasgowWarriors.org if you want to see Sioni run in from 70 meters this time as opposed to 60. <laughs> Murphy, thank you again, as always. Thank you. A pleasure. Hopefully we'll see you out there again soon. Yes, sir. And thank in the meantime, you. we'll see you at Scots on Friday night, Warrior Nation. I've been Craig Wright. He's been Sione Vailanu. He's been Murphy Walker. And this has been the Glasgow Warriors Squadcast. <laughs>